Australia is one of the world's largest producers and exporters of coal, used in both steel making and to generate power. One of its major markets is China, but months of import delays have left millions of tonnes of Australian coal stranded off China's coast and the industry in turmoil. China's doing it for political reasons, not economic reasons, because economically it's, it's self-harm to China, so it's clearly a, a political stance that the, the party's taken. Beijing seemingly confirmed Australia was being targeted in its state-backed Global Times newspaper, saying power plants have been granted approval to import coal without clearance restrictions from anyone except Australia. Those countries that are available and also are willing to export coal to China are Indonesia, Russia and Mongolia. And we're seeing quite a lot of willingness for those countries to actually expand their market in China. It will no doubt further inflame tensions with Beijing, which is shutting more Australian industries out of China. In a deepening trade dispute over foreign interference, Beijing's affairs in Hong Kong and allegations about the origins of the coronavirus. Talking about coal in Australia right now is a sensitive issue. Industry stakeholders have been reluctant to comment on what's happening with China and Australia remains without an energy policy as more countries set climate targets. Carbon dioxide levels are at Australia was blocked from speaking at a recent United Nations climate summit due to its perceived lack of action on climate change. Some experts believe now is the time to plan for a future of reduced use of coal and other fossil fuels. Australia is increasingly being viewed, quite rightly, as an international pariah on climate action. Australia needs a plan. We need a plan to get out of coal and gas. We need a plan to transition all of those workers. Or a plan in the short term to find new trade partners. Australia's coal exports to China were worth more than $10 billion last year. Now that's threatened and other industries will be wondering if they could be next. Nicola Gage, Al Jazeera, Sydney.